In Polk County, the search continues for a Texas man that has been missing since Saturday. As THV 11 Stephanie Esquivel reports, 38 year old Joshua McClatchy was hiking on a trail in the Caney Creek Wilderness area near Mina when he got lost. Well, the search has been going on since Saturday and multiple organizations are out here looking for him, including the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management and the Polk County Sheriff's Office. I'm told there are various teams along the trail trying to cover as much land as possible. We received a call from his mother that he had texted her from the Buckeye Trail um, that he, he was in trouble, he was lost, and he was dehydrated. We started the search immediately. While the Polk County Sheriff's Office is leading the search efforts, other departments are stepping in to help, including dozens of volunteers. Polk County Sheriff Scott Sawyer says he also has a list of search teams that have offered to help and are on standby. And I've got all sorts of search teams that are ready to come in. All I got to do is call them. Different groups using various methods and technology. We have flown drones. Uh, we have flown fixed wing uh, aircraft. One of the problems we've run into, we've had bad weather for a week. Sheriff Sawyer says it's a race against time, not only because he has been out there for so long, but because he may also be injured. If he was up and mobile, we'd have found him. I, I feel like he's hurt, and that's why we're pushing so hard. We've, we've, we're out there early in the morning. We're, we don't get done until late at night. But Sheriff Scott says he's been in contact with Josh's family and has made a promise to do everything he can to find him. And he says his community is also rallying behind that promise. We've had deliveries of drinks for my rescuers and snacks. We've got McDonald's uh, donating meals, Subway donating meals, Walmart donating drinks. Um, local folks bringing a case of water here and there. I'm also told the search will not stop until they find him and they will request more resources as needed. In Polk County, I'm Stephanie Esquivel for THV 11 News. And meanwhile, people from all over the country are donating to assist in search efforts. The money will help the family hire private helicopters if necessary and take care of any expenses while they're searching. Just today, the effort raised more than $2,000 in three hours.